for this film yes. specifically. What influenced your approach uh, on the musical aspects of mm. Little Mermaid? We've seen you do big, grand musicals, but this one, you know, kind of splits time between land and sea. Yes. And I loved your interpretation of land specifically with immersing Ariel and Eric with a culture and everything. And I just want to, oh, you know, good. pick your brain on what inspired that aspect. Well, I really felt like Eric needed to be developed. I mean, that was a big part of it. And I saw it kind of as a Romeo and Juliet-esque tale. You know, these two sort of young spirits from completely different worlds that weren't meant to be together, you know, but they find each other anyway and break down those barriers and walls between these two cultures. And, um, and so that, was, that led to sort of like how we re reinterpret this, this film. Um, I mean, it is a very contemporary piece to me in a way, you know, you know, especially as our world gets more divided, that, you know, these two people don't listen to their, you know, what people are telling them to do. Don't go here. Don't go there. Don't speak to the humans. Don't be with the sea creatures, you know, whatever. And they, they, they don't listen to that. And they see ahead of that and, and, and ultimately find each other. So, um, and it's a, it's a beautiful, I mean, for me, it was... It was beautiful to make because the entire time I'm thinking, you know, wow, it's really a, a, a vital reminder that we're really all one, even if you're a mermaid or a man, or, you know, but it, it's, it's, it, it, and you realize, wow, that was back in the 1830s, Hans Christian Andersen wrote that he was so ahead of his time.